Hey everyone, welcome back to Nail Art by Nessa and the Spotlight Collab Challenge. This week we are doing dragon themed nails and participating is Sweet Tea Nails, Lisa Whitney from Dana August Nails, Naomi Nails, and Sarah Williams Queen Me Nails. Okay, so I had a really hard time coming up with a concept for these nails, and I kept going back to Game of Thrones and Daenerys Stormborn, so I decided I should channel her for inspiration for these nails. Shall we begin? Wow, I think I look pretty good as Daenerys. Well, thanks to Daenerys, I did come up with a theme. So I'm starting off with two layers on each nail of this beautiful blue by OPI. It is called Tile Art to Warm the Heart. And I'm setting each layer in my LED UV light. While I'm busy doing that, let me tell you about the Spotlight Collab Challenge. It is a really cool group of five of us YouTubers who have come together to challenge each other with different themes throughout the month of June. We have done three different themes. The first theme was Kaleidoscope Nails. The second week was Pop Art Nails. And this week is, of course, Dragon Nails. The Spotlight Collab Challenge has been a lot of fun for us nail artists because we have all had an opportunity to try new things and pushed us out of our comfort zones but it's also really cool for you guys too because you get to meet new nail artists that you may have never seen before and all of us have sweet tea nails to thank for this challenge she came up with this great idea and she is a really awesome nail artist check out her nails for the kaleidoscope nails her pop art nails are so adorable. I absolutely love the cherry nails. And these sprinkle nails from her Instagram, so adorable. What a great idea. I can't wait to see what she comes up with for her dragon nails. So don't forget to go check out her channel and subscribe. And this week's theme was chosen by Sura Williams. She is a really cool nail artist that I just met through this collab challenge. She not only participated in this month's challenges, but she also wrote her exams for her nail tech license. So congratulations, Sura Williams. And of course, check out her designs for the challenges, her kaleidoscope nails inspired by the 70s, her pop art nails, absolutely love the color choices. And from her Instagram, these really pretty blinged out nails. And of course, don't forget to check out what she creates for the dragon nails. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get back to my dragon nails. So next I decided to take this 5D cat eye polish from Francesca. This is number 11. And I decided to paint it on all of the nails and hold the magnet just across the very top. And then I set it in the light for 60 seconds. I do this for all the nails because I decided that I wanted to create like a night scene. And I thought this would look really cool as sort of like the Milky Way galaxy in the night sky. Next up, I take out my white gel polish by Born Pretty. This one is called Day, and I just put a little bit down on my palette. I decided I wanted to create a full moon going across both the index and the thumbnail, so I decided I should hand paint this. And I don't normally hand paint on nails, but you know, we're supposed to step outside our comfort zones. So here we go. I'm gonna do some hand painting and some stamping for this nail set. So I'm just creating like a little semicircle and then I line it up with the thumb and create kind of a semicircle on the 
thumb and it, together they do not look like a perfectly round full moon but it does give a nice look once the nails are finished. Next up I just take a larger brush and I fill in the white of the moon kind of using a padding motion and I do this on both of the nails. Next up, I just take a little bit of alcohol on my brush to clean up that little line that's coming off the moon. I accidentally had a little bit too much and it ran into my moon and made the shape a little funny, but it's not a big deal. I can fix that really easily. And now I'm going to take the alcohol and actually dab it into the white of the moon. And this actually creates a really cool sort of shadowed effect on the moon. It makes it look a lot more realistic. And once I'm happy with that, I just flash cure it for 30 seconds. Now I want to create the ocean, so I'm going to use CAD's mini number 26, and I'm going to take off the blue film. Uh, they actually had two films on it, and I've noticed with CAD's they usually do have the two films, uh, so it's extra protected. Anyways, I'm going to first use a very light colored holographic stamping polish, and I'm going to sort of create the reflection of the moon with this color, and then I'm going to create the rest of the ripples of the ocean with a darker holographic stamping polish. Next up, I'm going to use CAD's Nature number 28. And once again, I'm going to remove the two films. And then I'm going to pick up this little ship with the reflection with my Two Joy stamping polish in navy. I line it up to stamp, but I decided that the reflection looked too dark to me, so I decided to try again. So this time I'm putting the navy at the top, but I'm going to use the dark holographic color I used for the water for the bottom, and then pull the navy down when I scrape it. That way just some of the color transfers into the bottom, and I felt like this reflection looked a lot better to me. Now I bring back my palette and I'm going to add in some stars into the night sky. So I'm going to add a couple galaxy stars. So these are just four pointed stars. I find the easiest way to draw them is to kind of do a little blob in the center and then pull from the center, not bringing any more polish to it. So you want it to get thinner as it comes out from the center. And now I'm just adding teeny little dots as extra stars in the sky. And then I did add a horizon line and unfortunately I forgot to show it. Um, I forgot to film it for both the thumb and the index finger, but I do show it in the middle finger. But here it is with the horizon line. Now I'm just going to move on to the index finger and I'm going to repeat the stamping for the water like I did on the thumb, just reversing the sides. So I'm going to put the lighter color on the left and the darker color on the right.
dragons! Whoa, no need to get upset. I'm bringing in Nicole Diary Plate L7, and we're gonna stamp this dragon right in front of the moon. So I'm using Born Pretty Black Stamping Polish, and it is appropriately called Throne. Next, I bring in my palette, and I'm just going to put a little bit of my black stamping polish down on the palette, and I'm going to do a few little touch-ups on the dragon. I find a lot of these small images sometimes end up with little bubbles, so you can just touch them up with your detail brush. Once I finished the dragon, I did the stars in the sky. Unfortunately, I forgot to push record, but here it is with the stars. And now we're going to move on to the middle finger. I use a little bit of white gel polish just to create a little bit of the horizon line, um, just for a guide to where I want to place the water. I cleaned it up a little bit with my cleanup brush, and now we're just going to stamp the water, uh, this time only using the darker holographic stamping polish. Now we're going to create the coastline, so I'm going to use Pick Use J027 and I'm using black on the bottom half and navy on the top half and I'm just going to scrape across it a couple times just to blend those colors a little bit and then I'm going to kind of check it out but I decided that that line going across is a little too long so I just take off a little bit of it with my nail and then I place it right where that horizon line is and stamp it down. When I stamped down the image, I didn't notice, but I actually had a little bit of extra black up a little bit above the image. So I just removed that with a little acetone. And that is the nice thing about painting your nails with gel polish. You are able to clean them up and use acetone on them if you need to. But now I'm just gonna use a little bit of that navy and I'm going to fill in the parts of the hills where it's kind of spacey because I don't want it to look like the sky. Then using the black, I just extend the coastline down the nail. I go back to my navy polish and I'm just going to make that distant coastline a little bit more prominent and just add a little bit of a hill in the distance there and then I'm going to switch over to my white gel polish mixed with alcohol just to create that horizon line in the water and then also to highlight where the water meets the coast. While highlighting the coastline I was thinking about Bob Ross. Once I was happy with the highlights I created, I flash cured this for 30 seconds and then I brought back stamping plate Nicole Diary L10 and I thought since Daenerys inspired this look that I would add her to the nail set. So I'm just adding this girl standing on the coastline so she will be watching over her dragons fly in the moonlight. So I did a few touch-ups on her head and then I bring out another stamping plate. This one is Pick You J012 and I'm going to use the haunted house image from this plate and I'm going to use the haunted house in replacement of a 
castle in the distance because when I think of dragons and medieval things and Game of Thrones, I obviously think of castles. So I definitely wanted to have some kind of castle in the background. So I'm just removing some parts of the image I didn't want and then I'm going to stamp that down and then I'm going to do a few touch-ups just kind of changing some of the shapes just a little bit just to create a more of a castle look. Okay, so I wasn't sure where else I wanted to put a dragon, so I decided to just put this nail aside for now and start working on the next nail. So I'm just going to mark where the castle is so I can line it up and continue the castle onto the ring nail. And of course I'm going to use the same image, so I'm going to pick up the same haunted house image and then I'm just going to remove some of the image from the stamper before I stamp it down. Now I can just take a cleanup brush and remove whatever I don't want with a little bit of acetone and then I bring in my palette and I'm just going to use the haunted house as a guide to where I want my castle so I'm just going to change some of these sort of weird wonky shaped roofs into more like a flat roof more like towers you see on a castle so I'm just creating a few towers. Once I felt happy with that, I just bring back the middle finger and I'm just double checking to see that they line up. I wasn't doing a very good job of keeping that on camera, but that's what I was doing. So I just do that a couple times to just make sure that it's lining up and it looks good. Next, I decided to add some mountains. So I bring in yet another stamping plate. This one is Born Pretty's Natural World L002 and I'm using Born Pretty Stamping Polish Clear Eyes and I'm just going to pick up the image of the mountains and clean up just the little birds and stuff flying around and then stamp that down. Next I bring back Stamping Plate Pick You J027 and I'm going to use my navy blue to pick up this grouping of trees and stamp it down right underneath the mountains. And now again, I'm gonna bring back the large Nicole Diary plate L10, and I'm picking up these little bit larger trees in black, and I'm gonna stamp that down. But one thing I wish I had done for this is actually painted the navy down a little further so that it would cover where the black trees are kind of sparse. I didn't want to show the night sky behind it, so instead I ended up stamping down a lot of black trees. So if you want to avoid doing this, just paint your navy polish down the nail. And I do do this on the pinky finger. Now I'm going to place the ring finger aside and take the pinky finger and we're going to add these mountains in the background and then we're going to add the trees the same as we did on the previous nail. The only difference is I paint the navy down the nail like I said I wish I had on the last nail.
Now I'm going to add another dragon to the middle fingernail and I'm going to use this flying dragon so he's flying towards the dragon that's in the moon. I do a few touch-ups on the dragon and then I switch over to the ring fingernail and I decided to add a third dragon to that nail. Now I know there was only two adult dragons in Game of Thrones but the mother of dragons would have wanted to see all three of her children grow up to be adults so this is for her. I'm almost finished with the set, so now I'm just gonna add the stars in the sky to the middle finger, the ring, and the pinky. And now for one more detail before we add our top coat, I decided to add a few more highlights. I wanted to add some highlights to the castle. I felt like they just kind of disappeared. And the highlights really made a huge difference. I added a few highlights to the rock faces around the castle as well. And it really made the nail come to life. And then after I did this, I added a few highlights into the trees on the other two nails and then I top coated everything and set it in the light for 60 seconds.
Okay, are you ready for the final look? Here it is. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Is this dragon enough for you? Does it represent Game of Thrones? I felt like it did. Did Daenerys Strongborn help me in creating this design? I feel like she guided me through it. So uh, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to check out all of the girls' videos. I'm so excited to see what they created for their looks. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for following us and watching all of our videos. Bye!